Today, as you look at uh, the opportunities that women have uh, to be chief executives, do you think they're much better than when you were coming along? And what do you advise young women who want to be a CEO about the best way to prepare to be a CEO? So I think there are more opportunities for women than there certainly were in the late 70s when I entered the workplace, and that is throughout the food chain. I tell whether it's young women or young men, if you want to do well in this world, be a part of a team, serve your team well, and do the job in front of you the, as best as you possibly can. And in functional organizations, the rest takes care of itself. In a dysfunctional organization, all bets are off, get out of it. Uh, what would be the skill set that a CEO really needs to be successful in today's environment? So I think a good leader needs fundamentally good character. Good character is required. I think a, a smattering and a, and a wholesome um, capability set, and whether it's intellect or finance, or ability to think strategically or solve complex problems, all those things are really important. And frankly, perseverance. I mean, sometimes you just have to never, never stop, never quit, never give up. 